Hello guys today i want to show and explain how to make a powerful wind generator by using dual stator and single rotor <coughs> here look at this this is a single phase generator or alternator here 8 pole stator and 8 pole uh, 16 pole rotor okay look at this here there are two stator winding inner stator winding and outer stator winding the outer coils are fixed with the screw here and winding the screw is used for fixing the outer coil and also use the use as a iron core to increase the generator emf okay here this type of generator application is it is used for a wind generator while using both inner and outer coil the output of generator emf is achieved by inner and outer coil okay it is also used as a motor generator the outer stator coil used as a gen generator and the inner stator coil is used as a motor by driven by a battery voltage okay a 12 volt battery voltage is given the inner stator is used as a motor the outer stator is used as a generator okay next it is used for constant voltage generator outer coil is used as a generator the inner coil is used for sometime working as a motor and sometime working as a generator while the wind pressure wind blow is decrease what happen the inner the battery voltage is used to rotate the motor and compensate the wind fluctuation when the wind pressure is increase what happens the, the speed of the rotor increase and the voltage of the excess voltage will be charged the battery okay this kind of application is used for the dual stator angle single rotor winding generator before going to make a dual stator and single rotor winding generator some of the analysis we have to see okay here first analyze here i am using the one set of coil and a rotor and stress to the various method how the generator maximum generator emf is achieved okay here i am first method the two coils here look at this this is the stator coil two coils are used and the rotor is inserted when it rotate what is the emf generator okay no friends here i am using the first method that is one set of stator coil and rotor here in this method the magnet rotor magnet is in interacted by both side of the coil here the two side of the rotor magnets are interacted by the dual stator coil that's why the generator emf is two times the single coil okay to compare single coil it generate 8 volt when you use, when uh, when you use two coil it generate more than 16 volt okay here look at this here i test the single coil what happened the one volt now i am going to the test the fifteen volt both coils are when generated more than fifteen volts okay so the dl the rotor magnet i am going to another method that is a small core is 
inserted in the coil center what is happened look at this here i rotate the 18 volts now i am going to insert the screw more than 18 volt remove the center core what happen 14 volt and insert the screw 16 increase the voltage and remove the screw 12 volt okay so due to the insert of the center core what happens the reluctance of the magnetic path is reduced and allow more flux through the center of the coil that's why the generator rm is increased okay next i am using a e core for the two coil what happens okay here the center core used so it reduces the reluctance of the magnetic path and allow the more flux through the center that's why the em of generator is increase okay next e core using e core what happens the e core interact three magnet so here the north pole flux is move through the center and the center pole magnet is also flux is also pass through the two coil and the other side c magnet is also the flux is pass through the center so the total flux linkage with the coil is a plus b plus c three magnet fluxes are linkage the two coil and and it has a close magnetic path so linkage flux is very very low that's why the em generator is three times increase okay now look at this look at this here i insert the two e core to the coil now i am going to assemble the rotor okay Here, look at this. The generator EM. Three times more than fifty-five volts. Okay, using the E core. Okay. Here, look at the friends. Another one method is fourth method. Here, I am using a C core. The two coils are connected with the C core. and the rotor magnets move between the two coil here the using a c core what happen the leakage flux will be reduced that means the reluctance is will reduce and most of the permanent magnet flux passes through this two coil in a closed path okay that's why the em of generation is increase this is another one method to how to increase the generation generated emf i am going to run the generator by using the wind ceiling fan wind pressure okay hello friends now i am going to switch on the ceiling fan
So the generator EM is more than 45 volts when the E core is used. Okay. Now I am going to check the generator without E core. What happens? Here I remove the E core and insert the rotor. Okay, what happens? Okay, I am going to switch on the fan. Okay friends, without the e-code, the generator generate only 16 volt, okay? Okay, next projects, I will show the dual coil motor generator, okay? Okay, thank you very much.